Hi everyone, it's Miss Morcia here, continuing on from uh, Mr. Vegela's video on uh, considering the criteria for um, shortlisting universities and shortlisting courses that are right for you. Um, so initially, you will think about you know the A-level subjects that you're taking. You know how do the different combination of your A-levels lead to the different types of careers you're interested in? So, for example. If I was taking biology and chemistry, that would allow me to access medicine, for example. If I was taking biology, French, and, and business, then that would allow me to access um, business management with uh, French. Another example I can give you is, you know, if you're taking maths and physics, for example, that would be a perfect fit for engineering, or if you're taking... Um, uh, economics and sociology then that would be a perfect combination for socioeconomics um, so you know there are many many thousands of degrees out there but you want to think about how does your combination of A-levels fit into what you want to do the next thing for you to consider of course is your grades what do you think you'll actually get in the subjects that you're taking now and it's good to have like an upper estimate and a lower estimate because then you you can you know um, explore the full range of, of courses and universities that are available to you and you need to be realistic with that you also want to think about you know does your course actually require um, an entrance exam um, and there are some universities like durham warwick lse um, you know some of the top russell group universities and of course oxbridge medicine um, these courses will require entrance exams, so you want to you want to um, ensure that uh, you are prepared for these as well. Um, and if you are going to be writing exams, you must make sure that you inform one of us um, in the sick form, sick form team, so we can um, uh, get you to be a part of a group that uh, actually practice these papers um, before uh, it's time to sit them. Um, one, of the, one of the other things as well um, to look out for is, is uh, the rate of competition. Some subjects in some universities are going to be a lot more competitive than in other universities. Um, and then there are some subjects that are just competitive full stop. So for example, medicine and dentistry, always super competitive. Um, but medicine at a higher level or sort of... Uh, at a university with, with more prestige, they're going to have a lot more competition. Um, but then, if, for example, if you look at economics, um, it's a competitive uh, course, but not as competitive as medicine. Um, and uh, it's super competitive at, 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 uh, if you're applying for Oxbridge, Cambridge, Oxford, Cambridge, but not so um, competitive if, for example, you want to study at Westminster University. So, um, you know, think about the competition. And what's really cool is that on Unifrog, there is an um, a feature that uh, that allows you to look at how many applicants were successful for um, uh, the previous year in. in for that particular course at that particular university so please have a look at the stats as well um, and you want to balance it really uh, w with the five university choices that you're gonna um, that you're gonna shortlist you know some might be should be more competitive some some should be less competitive so that you sort of um, increased and maximized your chances of, of getting into a suitable course um, the next thing for you to consider of course is the ranking uh, in league tables so you know you'll have ranking on which you'll have ranking on um, UCAS um, and you'll have ranking um, in uh, the Times magazine um, so ranking is is good because the more presti prestigious the university um, the more kudos <laughs> you have when you're applying um, for the workplace and they you know if they see university oh this person went to Imperial that's amazing um, however I would uh, caution um, that notion because um, it is much more important that you go to a university with a higher ranking for a particular subject than to go to a university just because it's, pres it's prestigious but it's not necessarily um, uh, well ranked for the subject that you're interested in studying. Okay, that's really, really important. 
um, you know, because some universities might be science science specialists, other universities might be really, you know, language specialists. So um, think about what that particular university is actually good for, um, for the for the uh, subject that you want to pursue further. Another thing for you to consider is um, scholarships. Um, there are so many scholarships every single year, and I'm talking with a tune of millions that do not get accessed um, by students because they just simply don't know about them or they just haven't bothered. Um, there are scholarships out there for families that come from low-income backgrounds or um, students that um, are from an underrepresented um, ethnic group, um, often terms that, uh, termed as BAME. Um, there are scholarships uh, for vegetarians. I mean, there are scholarships for um, those with certain uh, religious affiliations. So um, there are many, many scholarships out there. And of course, there are scholarships for um, those who are really academically endowed or have a particular talent in a sport or um, an instrument. So um, please look out for these um, because that will really help you to think about um, which universities are, are suited um, best to your interests um, and suited best to, um, you know, your uh, ambitions for careers. Um, and the last thing I'll say, uh, linked to that, is um, think about the job prospects. The, and they actually have um, statistics uh, published for different universities. You know, what are the chances that somebody who studies a biology degree in a university um, actually uh, becomes successful um, in, in uh, securing a job after that. So um, it's also good to look at career prospect and pro progression opportunities um, uh, at that university for that particular course, okay? So please, uh, you know, watch out for these scholarships because they'll really help you financially. Um, sometimes they're full scholarship, they can pay you for, pay for the entire duration of the course. Sometimes they'll give you sort of a one-off, you know, five grand or two grand in your first year. Um, and, and, and every little helps, really. Um, and if it's out there and it's free, you might as well, you know, do your research and tap into it. Um, so that's it for me, really. Um, there are uh, other things that we can discuss further if you have any questions about how to shortlist. Um, so the day for On Progression Week is the, uh, is the Monday when we discuss these factors further. Um, please have um, a look at the resources on Moodle um, in addition to this video um, to consider your options further and then come to the session on Monday with questions um, so that uh, we can help you out and uh, give you some individual feedback. Thank you very much.